I'm very, very shocked. <laughs> Why is it that I'm always shocked? I should not be shocked, but uh, this last month was a big revenue month. In fact, it was the biggest one I've ever had with debt-free millennials. Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. I am reporting my July 2020 income and typically I know kind of roughly how much I'm going to be making in that particular month, especially with the freelancing stuff because I'm assigned out projects ahead of time so I can kind of see what's coming down the pipe. And July I knew was going to be a big income month, but I didn't exactly know how big until I added up the numbers and I was like, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and hop into the numbers. I'll show you what I made. All right, so for digital products, I made $705, which was 5% of my total income. YouTube and Google AdSense brought in $1,367, which was 9% of my income. I was really excited that it was over $1,000 again because I've been uploading more frequently on YouTube and doing three videos a week versus two, and I've been doing that since quarantine. So I hope you guys are finding the content really valuable, and I think it is helping with my ad revenue, so that's really, really good news. Affiliates brought in $1,958, which was 14% of my income, and then you all know, freelance gigs. It always brings in the most, $10,200 at 72% of my income, which means burr, 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 my total was $14,230. This has definitely been the biggest revenue month I have ever, 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 ever had with debt-free millennials and Honestly, sometimes I feel like I did this with my debt-free journey where I paid off a whole bunch of debt and I'd be like, okay, <laughs> and really not have that big reaction. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just looking at numbers on the screen or just feeling kind of out of touch with it. I don't know if any of you guys kind of experience that where you feel like, okay, you've made a really big milestone with your finances and then it's like, un it, it, there's just no ceremony to it. I don't know. <laughs> but I am really, really excited about this. I think this is great for my business. There are some things that I feel like I want to change as I move towards the end of the year, but also knowing kind of where we're at with this pandemic, I just don't know what's possible or not. So let's go ahead and hop into the wins. Okay, so obviously biggest revenue month ever, and I also surpassed 21,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm so thankful for that. And my initial goal when I mapped out my 2020 goals for my business was that I wanted 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know I'll definitely hit that, so this is really good growth. Then I had a fintech company reach out. I do have a lot of people who reach out trying to sell some affiliate program or some products, um, but this fintech company sounded really cool. I did talk to them and talked about their platform and what they were wanting. So I'm not sure if it's 100% what I want to do, but it's still nice to be recognized in that way and just know that people are looking at the channel, they're looking at my content and seeing how we could work together. Then the next thing, and I, I mentioned this in the last income report, is that people are showing more interest in Budget Bootcamp. That's my one-on-one -on -one budget coaching program where we sit down, work through a private video conference, and we work through your budget, work through your financial goals. And I had two, three new clients sign up for that. So it's been really fun working with everybody and just seeing them crush their goals, be really committed to it, and I get to hold them accountable. They come to me and it's just, it's a really rewarding program and I'm really glad that's part of my digital product setup. 
Okay, then the obstacles, and I think I talked about this last time as well, but I mentioned that I had a course that I built way before I actually started building the Debt Free Millennials platform, and I think it really is just time to let that baby go and re refocus the website to what I love, which is the workbook and the budget coaching. And then, you know, obviously I can fold more digital products into that mix down the line, but I think these are the two things that I really want to focus on because I've seen the success with it. I've seen the consistency with that, with people coming into the door. So I think maybe shifting the focus to the workbook from the course on the website is going to help gain better traction and then make everything cohesive. Also, one thing that's been kind of in the, I'm gonna sit cross-legged. One thing that's been on the back of my mind is this freelancing stuff. Obviously, it's super lucrative. I love my clients. I only work primarily with just a handful of clients and it's those clients that I really enjoy working with and also, again, this pandemic thing makes the revenue a little bit unpredictable when it comes to freelancing. I know that personal finance is a big topic when people are thinking about, okay, I'm unemployed because of this pandemic or I have medical bills that are stacking up, all this stuff. And so the content that I produce actually meshes with what's going on in the world really well. That's why freelancing has been so good to me these past couple of months, but also, if those clients end up losing revenue for whatever reason, that affects the amount of work that they can give me. And so I'm very aware of that and I don't wanna use freelancing as this crutch. And I think I have been just because it's easy, they, they send me the work and it's done. But also I think I really want to work on building up my affiliate and my digital income streams because those are the things that I can control a little bit more and I haven't been putting a whole lot of strategy behind those two things. I've tested here and there with some experiments and they do work, but I'd like to focus a little bit more on that. In fact, I ended up joining a an online uh, community through Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income, and I'm really hoping that this mastermind will help me come up with new ideas for affiliates and digital products, and then have a group that can hold me accountable to that, and also learn from people who have been in my situation, who have been in my position, and that understand how to pivot from the bulk of your revenue coming from freelancing, and then shifting more of that weight over to the passive income streams. So that's what I think I wanna focus on for the second half of the year. And I think with the freelancing stuff, if things kind of dwindle down, like I know I'm not going to get as many assignments for August, that will push me and give me more time to focus on the affiliates and the digital products. So we'll see how this goes. If I can set up the passive income streams, shift more of the focus over from freelancing, I think we can make some really cool things happen for the end of the year. Who's with me? I think this is gonna be really fun. If you guys continue to like these income reports and they're of interest to you, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more ways to live debt-free and what you can do after you become debt-free. Stick around and I'll catch you in another video.